of why has God forsaken America? So I flipped open the Bible. You can turn the show off now and go listen to one of the comedians who's doing a joint right now for his mocking show tonight. Maybe it's Bill Maher getting ready to mock the American flag and God. Gee, I don't want to be around him on his deathbed, I'll tell you. I really don't want to be around him on the deathbed when he screams out for mommy and there's no mommy. And he says, I can't scream out to God because I mocked him for the last 50 years or 60 years. Well, the other comedians reading the scripts written for them by the government media complex. So I flipped open Deuteronomy. I mean, I flipped the book open and a passage jumped out and it said, but Jerusalem waxed fat and kicked out. The, you waxed fat. You grew thick. You became gross and you forsook God who made him and condemned the rock of his salvation. Now, what does that mean? It's Deuteron In Deuteronomy, it says that the reason Israel was overthrown in ancient days and taken into slavery in Babylonian, by the Babylonians is because they turned on God. They grew fat, they grew thick, they became gross. It sounds like uh, Harvey Weinstein. They ditzed well fat, they, they waxed fat, ditzed grow thick, they ditzed become gross. If I were to put a face on it, it would be Harvey Weinstein of, uh, of Hollywood. And he forsook God who made him and condemned the rock of his salvation. So you don't believe in any of this. You believe it's all a joke. And yet the Bible tells us it's not a joke. It tells us that Jerusalem, which was once a great power, fell. Fell several times. It fell in Babylonian times. It fell in Roman times. Why? Because the people, once they became powerful and strong, became weak and uh, weak and fat, just like we are. That's why I did a poem the other day about old white men slinging bags of dog crap. I said, that symbolizes America today. Old white men slinging bags of dog crap. That to me symbolizes uh, the America that we're living in today. So, you know, I picked up the phone. I, I felt refreshed from that prayer, by the way, at the edge of the water. I'll do the news if you want later, but I'm not ready for it. It's going to take me a long while to do the news. You can get it from one of the leg crossers on uh, Murdoch's chorus line. Murdoch's chorus line is there with the lipstick sitting up like pointer dogs from the side. you got to hand it to Ailes. He, do, he does side shots, and he gives you softcore porn with Fox News, which I like. It's, it's very interesting. But they do a fairly good. At least their politics are right. I don't mind that it's softcore porn, and the girls all look like pointers uh, sitting up for Roger. At least their politics are correct. That's the good news. Softcore porn for conservatives, I guess you can call Fox News. So if you want the news, you can go to the girls doing the softcore porn right now. But I'm not going to do the news on the Savage Nation. I'm going to do my views of the world. It's a one-man radio show for the last 20 years. I don't intend to change it for the next uh, 20 days. So as I said to you, I, I'm, uh, I'm just bewildered by how he gets away with it, Obama. I'm bewildered by how the military stands down while the world is burning. I'm bewildered by how the media has disappeared in your lifetime. I'm bewildered by the influx of diseased immigrants on purpose by Holder, by Obama, by Valerie Jarrett, by the invisible hands behind Obama like La Raza. I'm bewildered by it all. I'm bewildered by what's going on.